It's Amanda. Welcome back for more Pink Fresh Studio inspiration. Joining you today for a layout created with our beautiful new Everyday Musings collection. I've got the Sweet Escape paper below and our Geo Floral background die, which I have cut in coordinating violet and bubblegum pink cardstock. And I've also gone and cut myself a heart cut file from Paige Evans in the Silhouette Store. And I'm going to use these beautiful cuts to back my cut file with. So sort of getting the lace or stained glass look effect happening um, because I thought this effect combined with that beautiful watercolour wash pattern paper Sweet Escape would be just divine together and so I've gone ahead and used a fine liner because of course this is really um, a little bit delicate <laughs> and I don't want glue everywhere so nice tiny line of glue and just snipping away it's actually really quick and easy to back it didn't take me hours and hours because I'm just cutting big sections and of course our dies are always fabulous look how intricate that is that's gorgeous so creating well splitting my heart into four so I'm alternating my colors oh look at that absolutely beautiful so gorgeous for cards but also gorgeous for backing cut files with you can see what I mean about that sweet escape paper that watercolor wash is divine if you are mixed media phobic this is a paper for you because you're going to get that gorgeous mixed media look and if you're like me and like a little more color you're going to trace around that cut file use that as a guide to go ahead and add just a little more color and of course the pink fresh studio liquid watercolors are so awesome to work with you've seen me use them before I just adore them they are really fantastic tiny bit of water droplet of color look at this even if you are mixed media phobic you could give this a try so easy because they are so user friendly look at this just packaging technique nothing tricky and look at that beautiful lavender color really complements the sweet escape paper so i'm just going to go and follow around my heart line that i've traced in um, just adding little bits of color with the packaging technique because it is such a small amount of color um, not a lot of water here so keeping it fairly light so no extra product beneath it it doesn't need it um, and um, some splatters as well and adding now some bubble gum because the bubble gum pink color is also really gorgeous and of course works beautifully with what we've done with our cut file and this beautiful color in the paper and I'm Sometimes I do like to paint a little bit instead of using the packaging technique if I know where I want these sections of colour. So painting a little bit, splodging a little bit, smooshing it around, just having some fun. Look, there's no right or wrong with mixed media, is there? It's whatever takes your fancy and feels good. So process, not product. <laughs> Lots of fun. And you can see that pink is really, really stunning, isn't it? So striking, pretty. And the last colour I'm using from our liquid watercolours is the sapphire blue. And I just love this blue. It's so pretty. It always makes me think of indigo hills. It's just divine. Ah, oh, and look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, the liquid watercolours really are sensational. If you haven't tried them, please do. The colour is just divine. I cannot rave enough about the liquid watercolours. And with our new Everyday Musings collection, those gorgeous colours, just perfect. They're made for each other. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and foam mounted the back of my cut file heart. It's only a thin foam that I'm using today. I don't want a lot of dimension, just enough. There we go, for a little lift. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so pretty. Oh. Um, and while we're there, you'll notice, yes, my paper has warped. It's not from the liquid watercolours. On the day of filming, I kid you not, 112 so incredibly hot here in Australia right now so between the air conditioning and the humidity in the air that paper and unfortunately all my gorgeous pink fresh paper on my scrapbook desk have all taken on that gorgeous shape and form the good news is a few days later as it cooled down a little they resumed their normal shape so thank goodness for that um, one of the downsides I guess of living in a warmer more tropical climate so Apologies again, it wasn't from the liquid watercolours. It really was from the incredibly hot weather. And you can see I'm snipping up our gorgeous journaling cards. And I'm sorry to be doing that because these cards are just the sweetest. And I would love to have them 
on my pages for journaling and I will certainly order some more so that I can do that. Um, the Everyday Musings collection, because I'm in Australia, I needed to get it fast and they weren't quite finished printing the 6x6 papers when this was sent out to me. So I apologise, I would normally use 6x6 papers for this, but sometimes you've got to use other resources. So if you aren't perhaps someone who uses journal cards, but you want lots of little pops of colour, they're also very handy for mounting photos onto, um, like I'm doing today. But I really would love those journal cards for some journaling. There's coordinating pockets and envelopes that you can get to go with them. And for someone like me who likes to hide her journaling, because I like to keep it personal and special, they are just perfect. So I will be ordering more of them and I'm sorry I used them in, well, no, not sorry I used them, just I would have liked to have kept them for journaling too. Um, moving on now though, let's get some die cut ephemera out. I've moved my photo to where I think it'll be positioned now. And just playing around with some of my favourite embellishments, which are of course florals and leaves and all the pretty things, because that's what I like life's happy and beautiful and that's how it should be <laughs> and now that I've sort of played around for a bit I'm going to get out all the things because we need all the things there's puffy stickers there's alphas there's rainbow alphas the colors in the everyday musings collection are so pretty you only need to look at those layered heart stickers to see the gorgeous array of colors in this new collection gorgeous so I'm sort of yeah I'm going to commit, I think. I'm going to start sticking things down now. So popping in that ephemera. There's a lot of tucking and sliding things in around that photo cluster with the ephemera. Because the weather, as I've mentioned, is so extreme here, I'll use a full sheet of foam to back my photo with. Otherwise, sometimes, believe it or not, the photo paper even warps from the heat, more so the humidity. Um, but yes, yeah, so a full sheet of foam for me. And of course, because the layer beneath that cut file heart is very delicate too. So really avoiding any sinking in my photograph, ensuring it will survive and gluing down some of the ephemera pieces now and just gently tacking up some of those leaves as well, because I like gentle dimension. I'm a big fan of um, Having to mention on your page, but in a way that's really soft and flattering, I, I, I like making pretty things and gentle is, yeah, just delicate and lovely. So just enough. So tucking those pieces in, working around now. A little bit of foam tape for a few of them. But as you can see, Everyday Musings is full of very pretty things. It's also got lots of brights as well, but I, I'm naturally drawn to cool colours and I think yeah, the pinks and blues and purples always get drawn out first for me in any collection. Um, and yeah, just very, very pretty. You can see I've got that large ephemera die cut there that says, so happy we're here. And I think that describes the moment I was feeling when I took this photograph of my children. Really happy moment. So happy we are here and lots to be thankful for. So yeah. That's a little bit of the story behind that. So tucking in some more pieces, I wanted a little more there and thought I would just turn that pot plant on its side so I could get the foliage and the bloom showing. And just a little more. Very, very pretty. I am a big fan of florals. <laughs> there they go. And I like that little sentiment there. I thought that was really cute to tuck in. And it says, super love this. So really perfect for my photo, I think, because I did super love this moment. Yeah, very sweet. Beautiful. Another sentiment. Lay it onto a tag or label. And it's starting to get a real feel for my page now. Oh, the layered stickered hearts. Oh my goodness. These are gorgeous. That one says love. It's divine. And again, of course, drawing on our colour palette, which is, you know, those beautiful pinks and purples and blues, and it's just so pretty. And I think whether you're using the, the cooler colours or the warmer brights, it doesn't matter with everyday musings. They're all gorgeous. I think you'll really love playing with this new collection. I'm actually really excited by it. I already have ideas for my next six pages. <laughs> 
but really absolutely beautiful. Coming in with some puffy stickers now and of course sticking with my favourites, the foliage and the blooms and the flowers and the, yeah, just the pretty things. It's divine. There we go. So embellishing around my heart and probably just going to add one or two more stickers I think. Yeah. So we're not taking away from our photo cluster. Our photo cluster is certainly more dominant, but we're still adding enough embellishment around that title. So happy we're here. I foam mounted that now, so that's going to go over the top. There we go, lovely. And I might just pull up that, yeah, just lift it a little so the So Happy stands out a bit more. Just adding in that little sentiment there with some foam tape now. And you can see, look, beautiful, beautiful layout. Lots of details, and yet you've watched how easy this has come together. It's, you know, when all the products are so beautifully crafted and coordinated, it, it really makes the process of putting the scrapbook page together as enjoyable as it is to tell the story behind it. So, yeah, Pink Fresh Studio, win my heart every time. Beautiful, beautiful collection. Mini Puffy Alphas for my subtitle. And I'm going for the sapphire blue colour just to pop against all the pink and purple. I feel like it's it's starting to get a little overwhelming. So I just want to cut through that and give a little balance. And it says, so very cherished, because of course they are. And with that little pop of blue, I spy a tiny little blue sapphire puffy sticker heart. So finishing touch there. And there we go. My first play with the Everyday Musings collection. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I've got lots of beautiful close-ups coming for you now. If you've got any questions or comments about my layout or process today, please pop them down below and I'll get back to you. And thanks so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful, wonderful week and happy arty days. Bye.